What's good, YouTube? Welcome to another video. God first get money, I don't get tax. I just want to let y'all know again that reactions are coming to an end. And sorry that me and Terrell aren't together right now. His mom said that he cannot come out the house because he is in quarantine for Corona. Today I will be making the Broccoli Bill bookies. I'm debating if I should make this without measuring the ingredient. But I don't really know yet because I want them to be good. You you understand what I mean? Nah, I mean, nah, I mean. We need one cup of salt and butter. Isn't one stick of butter a whole? Whoa, dude. All right, so we gonna warm up the butter in the microwave. We need eggs. Don't look in the refrigerator. I know it looks nasty. We need eggs. Let's warm up the butter. We need two mixing bowls. And we need to warm the butter up. Don't look at my microwave, I know it's nasty. Let's do a minute and 30 on the butter. All right, we gonna get our second mixing bowl. I think that's good on the butter, cause I don't want it to be, it might need a little bit more. Oh, 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 oh. So we got the butter warm. How are you guys doing today? All right, so I got my butter warmed up. I need sugar. Got my sugar. Preheat oven to 375. Don't look at my oven, it looks nasty, I know. Let's put it on 400, 385. I think 385 would be good because I want my cookies to cook fast. All right, boom, let's go. So we got the oven preheated in a separate mixing bowl, mixed flour, soda, salt, and baking powder. All right, so I got me a mixer. I've never used this before. This is like old technology to me. All right, so I'm back and I'm ready. I got my glasses, I'm ready to mix. In a separate bowl, mix flour, baking soda, salt, baking powder, and we need a teaspoon. I don't have a teaspoon, but I do have this, so I'm guessing that it's gonna be a teaspoon today. Three cups of all-purpose flour, or self-rising in our case. It's a little on the four side. Three cups of flour going in, baking soda, one teaspoon of baking soda. I feel like that's a teaspoon because I don't want to do too much. Then we need a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Don't ask me why I got all this stuff. No, I don't make crack, but I might make it one day. <laughs> In a separate bowl, mix flour, baking soda, and baking powder, and sea salt. I've never had sea salt before. I guess like sea salt comes straight out of the ocean. All right, let's just go like this because it's not working. All right, that's about a teaspoon, right? I don't have a mixing spoon, but I do have a spatula. So we gonna mix that with the spatula. Yeah. See, when you mix and stuff, it's better to use the spatula because you got holes in it. If y'all watching this, tell your parents to start mixing with a spatula. We need to cream together the butter and sugar until combined. So we need one cup of sugar. Boy, I'm making a mess. It's okay to make a mess when you're baking, because baking is always supposed to be messy. I think I got too much sugar. All right, boom. We got the sugar in there. Now we need to put the butter. Where did I put the butter? Guys, I just want to let y'all know that y'all, if y'all like this video or y'all still watching, y'all should definitely check out this playlist up here. Like, this playlist is so cool. You have to check it out together. Now I'm about to mix it until it's combined. So I'm guessing this is how it's supposed to come out. I'm not really sure, I never made cookies before. And then you need to beat in the eggs. So we gotta whip the eggs. We gotta beat them, and then we gotta put vanilla extract until it's fluffy. So we gotta put the eggs in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think I messed up. I messed up. I gotta put a cup of brown sugar in there. I don't know what to do with the eggs. If you mess up, it's okay, just take another cup and put the eggs in. Let's get the brown sugar next. Let's let's do this ingredient because the thing says sugars with an S. All right, now let's fluff it. All right, now we add the eggs back in and we add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So one, 
And I think a little bit more would be too. I'll make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the Buster family because I'm making these cookies for the Buster family. I guess after you mix the eggs and stuff in, it's supposed to look like this. Mix in dry ingredients until combined. I guess we're supposed to do it this way, but I really need this stuff to go in this bowl. You gotta do a little bit at a time because I saw this on a Food Network, so I wanna be like that. Stuff is flying everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. DJ! Oh my god. I didn't know what I was getting myself into when I was making cookies. This is what our cookie dough looks like. We gotta do the fun part. We got to mix in the chocolate chips. I don't have chocolate chips, but I do have some old white chocolate that was in my refrigerator. All right, so you guys see that? That's the chocolate that I have. So what you want to do is take the biggest knife in your knife thing, and you want to start cutting it up. Like, it's going to take a while, but I promise it's worth it. Ooh, I don't think after this day, I'm ever making cookies again. I'm bored, so. This is what I do when I have to stay at home for quarantine. Guys, I'm definitely sweating right now. I'm putting it to work. All right, so after we done getting the chocolate cut up, we wanna just dump it in the cookies. All right, so now the spatula is getting hard to work with. So now we want to make sure your hands are clean before you do this. You wanna start getting in there with your hand and just pressing it in. I wanna make a giant cookie. But this is definitely big. This is like the size of a, a baby's head. All right, since we're making a giant cookie, we need a giant pan. And you want to have aluminum foil and cooking spray. Don't drop your cooking spray like I just did. <laughs> so then we want to line the pan. If you're not old enough, do not do this. I think we can make two giant cookies, actually. So then cut the dough in half. So we're going to put that in a ball. So you want to put the dough into like a giant ball. So that's one. Put in the oven. See you guys in 20 minutes. So guys, I changed and I washed a little bit and the cookies are finally done. They came out like this. They look delicious and I just want to let you know, thank you guys for 2,000 subscribers. These cookies are for you guys. I'm definitely about to eat peace. I think I burnt the cookies a little bit. I ain't even gonna count to y'all. That's good. But girl, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. If y'all want a cookie, please comment below. Give me a cookie. This is Close to Buzz. We out. Peace.